because uh, we discovered that we were spending about 50 hours a month on just this cleanup tickets. Ridiculous. So I uh, I made this automation that triggers off of the disk tickets that come in from our RMM. And I basically just, you know, look up the service ticket um, configurations because it gets attached as a configuration. Get the configuration details, look up everything on our screen connect because that's what we're using because uh, we have, you know, ConnectWise RMM and they hate uh, Roost for some reason and don't want to integrate anything with them. Um, gets the machine ID. If it's not there, it means it's offline and, you know, TBD. I'm still working on that. But if it is online, it will run the disk cleanup script that I have that I can show people. Um, updates the ticket with information from that. Uh, the run disk cleanup is actually a larger automation that I copied from running PowerShell on a DC from like the Roost onboarding. So pretty much I just have to come in here and change what script I want to run uh, and change what updates I want to the ticket at various points in time um, to get the details. But the script is pretty basic. Goes through uh, da, 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 logs, gets the disk space, um, it empties the recycle bin, cleans out the temporary files, cleans out Windows Update cache, uh, deletes old Windows installations, uh, runs the disk cleanup utility, and then it scans for large files over 250 megs in size. Uh, and that way it just records the large files, how much space those large files take up. Uh, and at the end, it kind of summarizes everything um, to say, yeah, we have enough space or no, there's not enough space. You know, and if there's not enough space, then look back at the large files and see if there's anything that you can delete. If there's stuff you can delete, great. Reach out to the client, to, you know, get it removed. If you, there's not enough space that you can free up, then that automatically, you know, should be a, hey, let's replace the drive or, hey, let's replace the computer at that point. Uh, so I estimate that this will probably save like 30 hours a month, maybe. You know, it, it's obviously not going to solve everything, but uh, it's going to hopefully cut down on those extra little things, you know, troubleshooting time.